Hi, welcome to Journey to Hydroponics. I've always wanted to try growing cabbage, but it's a cool weather vegetable, growing best in temperatures between 60 to 65 degrees Fahrenheit, which is about 16 to 18 degrees Celsius. I live in a tropical country, and my area is not exactly what you call cool weather. I usually grow cabbage as a microgreen, but I was curious to know what would happen if I tried growing them until they mature. So let's try growing red acre cabbage from seeds. Sterilize your cocoa peat. You can use a microwave by heating the cocoa peat for three to six minutes, or you can pour boiling water. Once the cocoa peat has cooled, squeeze out the excess water and place it in your seedling container. Distribute your red cabbage seeds. Now this seems like a lot of seeds, but I'll be eating most of them as microgreens while keeping around six to seven seedlings to mature. Spray the seeds with treated water and cover them with cocoa peat. Then spray the cocoa peat with water one last time. I cover the cocoa peat with a plastic sheet to help retain the moisture and added some weights so that the seeds are pressed onto the moist cocoa peat. Finally, I place the container inside the box so that the seeds can germinate in darkness. By the way, the treated water I'm using is tap water. Since our tap water has chlorine, I always place the water in an open container. Wait for at least a day for the chlorine to evaporate. The red cabbage began to sprout on the fourth day, so I placed them under the lights and bottom fed them with treated water. Keep your cocoa peat moist, but not drenched. The lights I'm using are T8 LED lights that are the daylight type. The LEDs are around 18 kilowatts and give out over 2,000 lumen and over 5,000 Kelvin. On day 13, a third leaf began to appear. So this is the time I bottom feed with full strength nutrient solution. The nutrient solution I use is called Master Blend and this is the Master Blend formula I use when growing the red cabbage. I kept the pH level at around 6.5. On day 24, I decided to separate the seedlings. I will grow to maturity seven seedlings, while the rest will be treated as microgreens. Red cabbage microgreens are a rich source of nutrients and are great for bone health because of the vitamin K. Red cabbage is said to also enhance digestive functions because of its soluble fibers. And it also promotes the heart and eye health due to flavonoid antioxidants and vitamin A. Let's go back to the seedlings. In preparation of the seedling transfer, I have here some plastic cups filled with cocoa peat and I dug a hole in the center. These cups are eight ounce party cups and I use a soldering iron to make the holes in the bottom and around the sides. Loosen the sides around the seedlings carefully. Lift up the seedling and place them on the tray of treated water so you can separate them. Transfer the seedling into the hole and cover them with cocoa peat up to the start of the leaves. I then water the cocoa peat to compact it and to help the seedling settle. 
Since the roots are still short, I place all the seedlings together on a tray and bottom fed them with the nutrient solution. On day 33, the seedlings will now have their own containers that will hold the nutrient solution. I'm recycling these 2 liter juice containers. I'll be cutting them on the top to hold the net cups. I'm also placing a mark where the nutrient solution will be filled up to, which is the edge of the net cup because I want the cocoa peat to remain moist for the short roots. I also wrap the container with aluminum foil to block out the outside light from passing through and growing algae inside. day 41, you can now see the roots are quite long and that the solution is still near the blue line. But on day 52, you will now notice that there are many and longer roots. This time, the nutrient solution is filled 2 inches below the blue line. So, when the roots are still short, fill the solution up to the edge of the net cup. But when the roots are long and plenty, the solution can be filled 2 or more inches below the net cup to create an air gap. This is called the Kratky method and it is the simplest hydroponic method I like for my personal gardening at home. Every two to three days, always check the level of the nutrient solution and refill when necessary. The weather in my area was reaching 40 degrees Celsius. That's over 100 degrees Fahrenheit. This is not a good environment for growing the red cabbage. The leaves were not forming into a cabbage head, all because of the extreme daily hot temperature. So on day 120, I decided to harvest the red cabbage. Our temperature was now 44 degrees Celsius and that's like 111 degrees Fahrenheit, way above what is recommended. If you want to try growing red cabbage at home, make sure you choose a cooler temperature of around 60 to 65 degrees Fahrenheit, especially if you want the cabbage head to form. Else, you can grow the red cabbage as microgreens, which are just as nutritious as the cabbage heads. So there you have it, growing hydroponic red cabbage from seeds. Thank you for watching Journey to Hydroponics and hope you stay tuned for more videos. Bye bye.